Hi everybody, I'm Teresa Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, it's a lot of booties. Um, I am going to work out right now. I'm doing booty and abs and then I'm going grocery shopping, coming home, making breakfast, maybe editing my vlog if I have time. Then I have to teach the 12 o'clock class um, at my spin studio, so I'm going to be teaching that. And then I'm coming home and I just have like little things to do, upload my blog, stuff like that. Then at 7 o'clock tonight, it's booty boot camp back at my spin studio, which is a 45 minute spin class with 15 minutes of booty exercises in the bar room. So for my workout today, I like wrote it out because I think I'm going to stick to it a little bit better if I write it out. So it's 7 a.m. right now. I woke up about half an hour ago. All right. Off to the gym. Weekends I barely peace and prosperity. Uh -huh. Drinking I have she, she can't stop texting me. I don't know why she sweating me. Live bitches can't get with me. Niggas better stop testing me. Niggas can't break bread with me. She ain't on the same shit, young till on. I kick it to the curb. She ain't with it learn. I'ma send her home. Grams in a zip lock bag for the time that I spend alone. And I'm just getting Alright, I'm at Wegmans. I'm gonna grocery shop a little bit. This is like the best time to come because the moms aren't here yet because their kids aren't at school yet. There's no like midday rush. There's no morning rush yet. It's like the perfect time to come. So I'm, and also with the gym right now, there's like no one at the gym either. I'm like really hitting like all the good times right now. So I think I should do this like every day. Here's what I hate. I'm trying to buy um, tortillas, you know, and the ingredient list is so long. Like look at all those ingredients for tortillas. Does it really need like that many ingredients? How about a little grocery haul for everybody? So this is what I bought today. Some fresh spinach, chopped escarole. I don't know, I'm trying to eat more salads. So I got this, it's not gonna be whatever. I'm trying to eat more salads. Um, oh, I also got a lot more veggies than I did fruit. I normally get way more fruit, but today I got more veggies. So I think that's a step in the right direction. I'm still learning. Um, raspberries and blueberries. I just like those berries are easy to put on everything. Lemons for lemon water. This is a lifesaver, chopped onions. It makes your life so much easier, and all it is is onions. Um, bananas, avocados. I just dropped two of them on the ground, so now they're squishy right here, and I'm pretty sad about that, but whatever. Three avocados, asparagus, baby carrots, broccoli, kombucha. Um, I got eggs. Yep, I bought eggs. So I was doing a lot of research, and they said these were, like, the best, eggs to buy at the store but um I mean it sounds pretty good but I want to find like a local farm and buy eggs off of them I know that my um, public speaking teacher has chickens so maybe I'll like text her and be like hey can I have some of the eggs so I don't know I'm trying to figure that out but for today I bought these and we'll see how they are um like I said kombucha these better bean I love these to put in like everything they are the best Hummus, they only have the family size of the classic flavor, so I guess I'll be eating a lot of hummus. Um, peanut butter, I have tried so many peanut butters, you guys. This one is just, it's the best because it doesn't get dried out. It's like creamy all the way to the bottom, and it's just so good. Um, the ingredients aren't horrible. I mean, they added in molasses, so this is not paleo because it does have added sugar in it, but um, it's my favorite peanut butter ever. Balsamic vinaigrette. I know that for salads, like oil is like healthiest, but I'm gonna use a little bit of this. I'm not perfect. Um, and then I got two things of agave. Yesterday, my mom made this really good breakfast. I'm gonna try and make it again. All right, so in there I have spinach and onions. Asparagus is going everywhere. I used to like despise asparagus. Honestly, I still kind of do. I just sort of make myself eat it because I know how good it is for me. Um, while I'm doing this, I do want to talk a little bit about my grocery shopping today because I have to say, this is the first time in over a year that I went grocery shopping and didn't feel like I was so restricted. And it was a really, really liberating feeling. Like I finally, like I didn't realize how I was feeling before. But today when I was grocery shopping, I didn't feel like a slave to my food, you know? I felt very free in the grocery store. Like, I felt like I could really kind of buy whatever I wanted, even though I'm only buying eggs. No, it was just such a, like, my mom and I were talking about it yesterday. It was just such, like, a new feeling to us. 
it just felt really really good i'm not eating dairy i'm not eating meat but like just having the freeing feeling of eggs was i don't know something new look at all that green in there Woohoo! I wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells so good. What a beautiful, beautiful avocado. I just love when an avocado is like perfect. It just makes me so happy. To me, this just seems healthier. And then half an avocado right on there and there you have it only took me about 15 minutes or so and it looks so yum hey <laughs> so that was uh my spin class i'm done it now i guys i'm gonna get better tonight though um i'm going back to the studio i had booty class but i got kicked out of it because <laughs> That sounds so bad. I got kicked out because um, there is a wait list. So when there's a wait list, like the instructors that are on it, that are um, in the class get kicked out so that clients can go on it. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go to the studio and hang out with Kristen. She's my soul mama, if you're watching this. Hey, <laughs> she's my little soul mama. I love her. So um, her and I are just gonna hang out tonight at the studio. Maybe we'll do a Snapchat takeover for um, Soul Beats Snapchat. Right now, um, I am done spin class. It was a really good class. The owner, Shoshana, she rode in the class, which was so much fun. Sho, if you're watching this, thanks for riding with me. It was so much fun to have you in class. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to have her in class, and I love teaching at noon. Like, the people, the vibe, it's just so much fun. I love their, uh, I love my lunch crunches. They're the, they're the best. So, everyone wants to add like more days, so maybe we'll add like another day of the lunch crunch. I think that'd be really fun. Right now, I'm really excited to get home and finish editing my vlog and upload that because I'm excited for you guys to see it. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but right before I do that, I just have to, um, I don't wanna take the highway. Mm, no, I don't wanna take the highway. And yeah, I'm gonna take the highway. I'm low on gas. Um, I wanna take the highway. I just have to go run a check into the bank. I haven't done that because um, I like kind of ripped the check a little bit, so it doesn't scan on my phone, so I have to go into the bank to do it. And I'll record tonight at the studio when like me and Kristen are hanging out so you guys can get a little tour of the studio because I've never showed the studio that much, so I'll do a tour of the studio. I think it'd be really cute for you guys to see Sylvie. This is spin hair. This is what my hair looks like about 80% of the time. So, um, yep, we're just gonna roll with it and you guys are gonna love it. So yesterday I had the chia seed pudding and it was so good. So I'm going to make it again, but I'm gonna make it a little bit differently this time. So I'm gonna do like a chia, uh, chia seed, peanut butter and banana. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. So I put in a third a cup of chia seeds, almond milk, dash of vanilla. Then I'm just gonna let that Thick it up, do its thing. Frozen banana. Ooh, ooh. Almond milk. I'm gonna put a scoop of peanut butter in here. This is going to make it so yum. A dash of cinnamon. Dash of vanilla. I'm just gonna throw in one more half of a banana. Y'all, I'm not kidding. I just blended this up. This might be the best thing I have ever made. It is like ice cream. If you're ever craving ice cream, you have a sweet tooth, anything, make this. It is everything. I'm like eating it right now because it's so good. But, okay. Look at that. That's just from letting it sit. So now we're going to put it in a jar because that's trendy and cute. It's good for the thumbnail. Don't judge me. And yes, we're in the same sweatshirt as yesterday. We're not all perfect, okay? Gotta get some of this going on. Oh my God. Like I wish all of you guys could eat this right now. I'm gonna top it off with some granola. This is way too delicious to be healthy right now. So I'm a little bit concerned. I am going to devour this. You absolutely need to make this. 
chia seeds and frozen bananas, a little bit of granola. This is everything. So I'm back in the car on my way back to the studio um, just to hang out and stuff. But in the meantime, after I made that amazing, oh my God, it was unreal. Um, I uploaded my vlog and I got a lot of amazing feedback, but I also got a, lo a lot of disappointed people, which I know I was expecting that too. But um, I addressed it a little bit on my Instagram, but if you guys don't follow my Instagram, you probably don't go, you probably didn't see it. Um, a question that I'm getting a lot is, I don't get why, when you, why eating eggs is going to fix your problem. So, eggs opens up a lot of doors and it also closes a lot of doors when you take them out of your diet. Now, honestly, I shouldn't even have to explain myself because it's my body. What I put in it does not end up in your body. It does not affect how you eat. It has nothing to do with your life. And I mean that in the absolute nicest way possible. Whatever I do has zero effect on your life. Um, and it's true and I don't mean that to be like rude, but I, I just seriously mean that in the nicest way possible. What I do doesn't affect you. But with that being said, here are the answers to your questions. Why eating eggs even changes anything. Like I said, it just opens up a lot of doors and closes a lot of doors when you eliminate them from your diet. So for example, in the mornings when I would start off my day, I would either have a bowl of fruit, which I'm sure I will still have on many days, um, because it just tastes so good. But a bowl of fruit is a bowl of like natural sugars, which is good. They're good for your body. But at the same time, when you eat that every single day, it really starts to pack on and really accumulate. So I would always have a bowl of fruit in the morning, or if I didn't have fruit in the morning, I would have oatmeal, which is ready carbs to start off my day, which is really, really yum on some days. And by no means am I saying I'm never gonna eat oatmeal again. I'm absolutely gonna eat oatmeal again, and I'm gonna enjoy every bite of it. I love oatmeal. But before I was vegan, all I would do is eat eggs pretty much for breakfast so when I cut them out I was kind of like well now what do I eat for breakfast because I am cutting out this main meal so I would either substitute it with a bowl of fruit or oatmeal so that's a lot of sugar right there to start off my day and if you guys saw my breakfast today it was lean it had protein in it and it was greens with veggies and I don't know about you guys but there's just something about me that I just I won't have a plate of vegetables to start off my morning but when I put an egg on top of it I will so I mean both all three are healthy I'm not saying none of them are health aren't healthy because they are healthy but when you eat so many carbs at such a high density every day um, it, it just starts to I mean, it worked really, really well for me in the beginning. It worked amazing, but then it just sort of stopped working. That a lot of people also say two things. They either say one, well, you probably weren't eating enough, so that's why your body's fasting and holding on to all that sugar and storing it as fat. Girl, I ate all day long. So it's not like I didn't eat enough to the point where I was like feeling like I was hungry. I was always eating until I was satisfied. So that's not an issue there. Um, and if I have to eat more, then I know that this lifestyle is definitely not perfect right now in my life because um, I don't know how much more I can eat. I'm already so full. The other thing, a lot of people said, well, why don't you just go vegan and not high carb, low fat? The only thing I'm adding into my diet are eggs. That opens up some doors, but still, I'm not eating dairy, I'm not eating meat. So that does keep a lot of doors closed. With that being said, 95% of the food that I still that I eat is still going to be vegan. And I'm sure I'm gonna have all vegan days and all raw vegan days still. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm not eating vegan anymore. I'm just not labeling myself as a vegan or as a plant-based eater. And I think that's also where we need to kind of calm down a little bit. A lifestyle should not be labeled. If I'm healthy and I feel good, then that's all that matters. And what I label my diet, what I label my lifestyle should not matter um, because it's irrelevant. So yes, I'm still eating a lot of plant-based foods. The only thing that I'm adding into my diet that isn't plant-based are eggs. So, um, I'm still gonna have those lean fats of oils and nuts and avocados and stuff like that. I'm just cutting back on my fruit and my bready carbs and beans and rice and all that, all those grains that my body was just holding on to and I'm adding in eggs when I feel like it. 
that's as serious as it is. And if that just disappoints some of you guys, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not perfect. I can't please everyone. When I was plant-based, people were upset that I was plant-based. And when I'm not, people are upset that I'm not. So, I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, it's about me. When you eat, what you eat, when you eat, your diet, your lifestyle, that is what you get to be selfish about. If the choices I'm making are healthy and benefit me, I'm absolutely gonna keep doing them. Um, I know some people have opinions on what healthy is and what healthy isn't. I believe healthy is what makes you feel your best and what makes you feel good. That's kind of like the little rant that I have about the comments. Um, a ton of the comments are very supportive, very, very nice. There's just a few things that I wanted to clear up and address before it gets a little bit too out of hand, um, but that's, yeah, that's really it. So after that tangent, I'm still on my way to the studio. I'm about like five minutes away or so, so I am going to put this away and I will talk to you guys there. Oh, you look great! This is my soul oh, mama! Yeah. Do you guys see the background of this all the time? We're gonna do a tour of the studio and then we're sh I'll show you like how we make our playlists and stuff because we're making a playlist for Spin 101, which is on Thursday night, which is like if you are new to Spin or like want to learn more about it or like the basics of it, um, you take that class and we go over like the moves that we do and the form and like all that stuff. It's like more slowed down. Yes, you feel comfortable in the Spin class. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. It's going to be lots of fun. Let's give you a tour. Okay, here we go. Hello, so, Tori. When you walk in, Let's go over here actually so that when you walk in you get the full. Alright, so when you walk in, this is what you see. This is our lobby of Soul Beat. Um, we have some merch over here. And then normally Kristen or Claire, they're sitting at the front desk or Kaylin. Greeting you. Yeah, they're Chalk sitting at the front desk. This is new. Isn't this so fancy? We're so like proud of this that we got. <laughs> um, chalkboard of all of our cute little clients of the month and like what's going on in the studio. Yeah, this is our front desk area. It's also a Tuesday night in the middle of class. If you hear like music and you hear someone screaming, that's class. Yep. Um, okay, then over here, this is our infamous photo walk soul beat. Photo wall. Super cute. Um, this is where all of the clients put their stuff, like jackets and workout bags and stuff like that. That's the back room for instructors and stuff. And then this is our towel wall. Mm -hmm. um, normally it's full, but we just fill it up. we've been amazingly busy. Woo! All of our towels are sweaty <laughs> and dirty right now. So we just have this one little thing, but it looks really cool when it's all set up. There's a picture yes. on Chris Solby Instagram if you want to follow it. Okay, let's go over here. Follow our towel wall. <laughs> we have child care here, so this is like where the kids play, but they're in there, so we won't go yeah. in there. Over here, we'll go back here a little bit. Okay, so you can hear class, There's a class in action. There's a class going on right now, but this is the hallway. toning the body by exhausting the muscle to the point of um, that you're burning it out, fatiguing your muscles so you can yeah. see that that d definition. It's not as much cardio as spin, yeah. but it's, uh, it's fine toning. It's inspired, but you don't need a dance background because I don't have one and I do it. No, it's so fun. Um, we yeah. use bands, we use weights, we yeah. use balls. We use a lot of our own like body resistance. Yes. The most that we use in weights is three pounds. Everything else is our own body weight resistance. So. Some planks, some squats. So yeah. Maybe we'll film the booty girls I know, I in the bar room. The booty girls. We should yeah. like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. 
We're usually in the booty class, Tori and I. In the booty class. But what happened? Every time there's a wait list, we get booted out of booty. Booted from booty class. And so it's now we favorite class, and I've been booted. I've been in for three weeks. Two weeks. So I'm a little fat. That's our studio. Isn't it cute? So every time I say I'm coming to the studio, this is where I'm coming. Here we are. Okay, we're gonna go bomb booty class. We'll wait until it picks back up. Yeah, yeah. That's where I have my most recent songs that I mm -hmm. really like. Okay. So I want to put those in it. Yes. Um, like this would be way too fast. For a sprint. Okay. <laughs> it's so quick. <laughs> um, that might not be good for 101. <laughs> yeah, no. This is like this today. is slow, yeah. you know, and you can do so much to it. It's like, yeah, this is so good. I yeah. like this one. I like how you chose like two and back. Yeah. Two. It flowed nicely. This would be good. Let's put this on our list. Okay. Honestly, I'll just shuffle it around, and if I like the song, I'll put it in. If I don't, I don't. So I normally pick songs that I like first. Okay. And then I'll go into like how much time you're. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I'll just put in however many songs I like. Okay. And then I'll go into sprints. I normally pick like three sprints. Okay. Put weights, cool down, and then the last song. Okay. And then that normally brings me to like, I'll either be between like 40 minutes or 50 minutes. So okay. then that's when I either cut songs or add songs. Okay. Once we get our list, we should do like two or three songs in the beginning that you're gonna like talk during, and we're just gonna kind of yeah. be like riding, but idea. not just so it's not. Quiet in there while you're out. Yeah, put on like um, just some weird like warm music. I love Jay Wolf. Okay. They just have really like. To the bar room. So now Kristen and I are gonna show you what the spin room looks like. This is what it looks like with all the lights on. So this is where we do it. We have 24 bikes. This is the instructor. 
bike. So this is what I see when I teach classes. Normally Kristen sits right there, smiling at me the whole time. So yeah, we have bikes over here, bikes over here, but wait, let's turn the lights down so that they can get the vibe. Normally, you guys have seen it in some of my vlogs. Normally during class, it's like this, nice and dark, and then we have these candles lit too. And it's so, like the lighting in a spin class is so crucial, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It sets the whole vibe. It does. It sets the whole vibe. So this is what you see. It looks so cute with all of our yellow towels. I know. So cute. That's what we do. <laughs> You're so cute. You hop on the bike. Yeah. Oh, show us some moose. Crunch. Crunch. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, kill it. In my non-spin shoes. <laughs> I know. Imagine if I were to spin in flip-flops. Yes, you can try. I can film you after time. Trying spinning a full flop? Yeah, I'm not gonna break a leg. <laughs> or a toe. For the vlog. But yeah, this is our little spin room. Oh yes, all of our sweaty towels. Our towel wall is empty. Thank you guys for yes. we were telling us about our sweaty towels. So I'm back from the studio and I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna make those pancakes that I put in a vlog um, a few weeks ago. They're like the oatmeal banana pancakes. They're Really, really good. I'll link the vlog down below so you guys can get the exact recipe, but pretty much as a gist, it's just one banana, one handful of oats, one egg or egg replacer. I'm gonna use egg replacer, um, cinnamon, vanilla, extract, agave, and that's it. Uh, mix it all, whisk it all up, throw it in a pan, and it's the best pancakes ever. So that is it. I just did a mountain of dishes that has been like dwelling in the back of my mind that I've known I've had to do. So I'm really glad that I did that. I'm going to just veg out on the couch, plan my day tomorrow, drink a kombucha. This is the GTS Multigreen. I love this one. I think it tastes so good. It's like salty and seaweedy. I don't know. It's really good though. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sip on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see my last vlog, which I'm sure you guys have already all seen because it kind of started um, a war, it's going to be right here. And then I have another video right here if you guys want to check that out as well. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.